Hey guys, Mighty here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use SoundPad Soundboard to pretty much play sound effects and music through your microphone. So with that said, let's get right into it. So you can either download SoundPad through Steam or through their website. Um, Steam has some issues, and also Steam is mainly used for games, so I would rather, personally, I'd rather download it through their website. So you can type in on Google, SoundPad Download. You should be taken to a site like this. It's called lepsoft.com slash soundpad slash en slash download. So lepsoft, L-E-P-P-S-O-F-T dot com. Basically, there's a trial version of the application that you can download. So there's a 64-bit and a 32-bit download. Uh, select your correct operating system bit. So I think most people will be 64-bit, but if you're 32-bit, you download that. The trial limitations are you can only have a maximum of 10 sounds in your sound list and you can only play a maximum of 10 sounds per the application. So basically, if you play 10 sounds, the application's gonna prompt you to restart it. You have to close out of it, reopen it, then you can play your 10 sounds again before you have to restart it. So if you don't want to do that, you can pay the $5 for the full application, which is what I did, and it was the best five bucks I ever spent. So after this download, uh, you may have to research your computer, and then once you come back, SoundPad should be installed, so you'll Type in a sound pad in your search bar or whatever. Get the sucker opened up. Here's what it looks like. I've got all my sounds listed in here and I can play a few samples to show you guys uh, what they sound like. So for instance, I have the ninja sound effect. The fuck you say to me, you little shit? And then I have another sound effect from SpongeBob. Oh brother, this guy stinks. So basically I have all these sound effects in here that you can play. And they have some sample ones up here too that I also got rid of, but you can mess around and test those as well. So first thing I'm gonna show you guys is I'm gonna go to File, Preferences. We'll go over a few of the settings that are important and uh, we'll go from there. So voice volume, 85.1 dB is what mine is set to. Uh, you will have to measure your own microphone. Basically it adjusts your sound files to, uh, to basically your microphone's level. So it dynamically adjusts them. So make sure you click measure. Test, 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 test. One, one, two, three. three. 83.9, uh, whatever. Mine mine works well at 85.1, but for something like Crab Game, uh, you will want to do like 101 to like 107 dB. It's gonna be really, really loud for people in Discord, but for Crab Game, the sounds will come through, uh, but it has to be loud for some reason. I don't know why, so just experiment with this and see uh, see you know what, what picks up your microphone and what doesn't. Um, but anyways, 85.1 works best for me. Um, Anyways, block voice, block voice while playing sounds on the microphone. Basically, if you're playing a sound effect and you're like, ha, 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 that's funny, people could probably hear you. Uh, so you probably want to block your voice while you play the sounds, or maybe you don't, it's up to you, but I do. So I'm playing a sound effect like music. I'm laughing a lot uh, through it, so my voice is blocked. Uh, play voice activation, push talk, karaoke, all this is left to default. Hot keys, you can set some hot keys for, uh, for playing back your music or playing other files. Uh, I just have a stop and start playback uh, hotkey set for this. You can mess around with the other ones if you want. Uh, everything else here is default. Let's go to interface, system default, language default, style, dark. Uh, this option here, display the microphone level on the toolbar. I certainly have that on just to make sure my microphone is coming through. Uh, so you can certainly do that or you could leave that unchecked, up to you. Uh, play modes default, miscellaneous, I run soundpad when windows starts, it starts minimized, and I can minimize it to system tray if I click the minimize icon, or if I don't, I click the X icon, it completely closes out of the program, so I like those settings personally, you can change them how you want. Devices, playback devices default, here's my microphone, status is good, so that's good. Go up to recorder. You'll want to set a directory to save your recorded sounds. So SoundPad lets you record sounds either through your headset or through your microphone. This is amazing. So save your recording somewhere on your desktop or your computer. Um, you save it as whatever file you want. You can mess with this if you want. Automatically normalize recordings. So you could probably set it to the same thing as your voice volume over here. Uh, trim silence, also another very nice option. Have that checked uh, unless you want the random sounds in all its entirety. It's up to you. Uh, notifications is all default. And then updates, I could have a check for daily. So basically those are my settings. So now here we are inside of SoundPad. If I go to window, you're gonna look for something called sound recorder. So yours probably looks like this. You have to go to window and then sound recorder. 
this is where the magic happens. You can record sounds through your speakers, so what you hear, or you can record your own microphone. So you could say something or whatever, you can make a noise, and then you could have that sound uh, in SoundPad. So basically, what a lot of people are probably in this video for is for like trolling sound effects, like Crab Game, where you make the red light, green light sound effect, which sounds like this. So a lot of people ask me, well, how do I get that sound effect? What's what's the file? I don't need to send you guys a file. You could literally just record this on your own computer. So inside of YouTube, you could search up for something like Crab Game, red light, green light sound effect. Here it is. Some guy has it uploaded with download. So you don't have to download this. You click this, click this, uh, click this video. Okay, perfect. The dude has the sound effect. So what do you do? You go to SoundPad. It says here, record speakers. Perfect, that's what we want. You're gonna click the record icon. Now currently, SoundPad is recording the speakers. Now remember, we have it trimming the silence. So there's silence on the desktop, nothing's going on. So we can then go back to our application, or back to our YouTube video with the sound effect. We'll play it. And that's it. We played the sound effect, we go back to SoundPad. We stop the recording. And now down here, you'll see recording one has been saved. You can right click the recording. You can go to edit file. And as you can see, SoundPad trimmed out all the silence in the beginning and the end. So basically, if I were to play this, it sounds pretty quiet. What you can do is you can go over here to where it says adjust volume two. And uh, it says 95 dB. That, that sounds pretty good. Let's click that. Now let's play our sound. Perfect. So now we have the crab game red light green light sound effect. You can also mess with these other settings too guys. Um, there's a effects option here for fading in and out. Uh, you can cut out certain areas of the sound effect. So if I wanted to let's say get rid of the end part, I could do that. I could click backspace and do that. And you can undo your changes. You can also add fade ins or fade outs. So I could select this part, click fade in and uh, I can make the beginning fade in. But I mean, for this sound effect, you probably wouldn't want to do that. But it's very nice. SoundPad has this built into it. It's amazing. Best five bucks I've spent personally. So this application's amazing. Uh, as you can see, the volume's been adjusted. Here's our sound effect. We'll play it one more time. Perfect, we'll click save. It's gonna save it. We close out. And then we can rename our recording down here to say, Crab Game sound lol we'll save that and then we can right click we can set a hot key for this set this to like say the letter p or whatever you want click ok and now whenever i select the letter p this will happen that's it and that's my sound effect that is all there is to it guys like i said soundpad is amazing this application there's just so much to it it's got its own editor its own recorder and it's just all around it's very very friendly to use very cool and uh, i think you guys will really enjoy using it um but that's it that's it guys so hopefully you learned something from this video and hopefully you uh you, you know download soundpad and you know start trolling your friends and having a good old time with it so anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video as always don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one peace